Chris starts off this hour in Tampa. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Okay, quick uh, background. I'm 21. I started a lawn service when I got out of high school. Um, I was 19. Um, anyway, I uh, I make about 45000 to 55000 a year. And um, Profit? I still live at home. Profit? Uh, no, that's gross. Profit, I would say, uh, right now it's about $35,000. mm hmm um, and I still, I still live at home. Um, I'm not investing anything. I just kind of want to know what's the next step, you know, going forward here. You have any money? Yeah, I've got about five thousand. Okay. You got any debt? No. Okay, that's good news. All right. What are you doing to increase your income? I work every day. <laughs> uh, just no, that's making your money. income. Uh, that's making income. I ask what you're doing to increase your income. Um. I'm just getting as many lawn accounts as I can every day. Um, I've got a couple of companies that I work for that have been um, phenomenal and getting me more work. Um, so, and it's and that's starting to grow too. So, um, just I, I mean, just keep finding out more companies and getting more work. Mm -hmm. Good. Is how how right. I'm doing. You, I'm so you've got to equipment to, to do all this work with. Yes. And where's the equipment stored? It's stored in my parents' house. Okay, where you live. Yes. All right. Um, and um, all right. The the what what do you want to be doing when you're thirty one or forty one? Well, I would like to keep doing what I'm doing, just do it on a on a on a bigger scale. You know, more have like more lawn crews and mm -hmm. um, you know doing more more uh, different kind of things like landscaping and irrigation mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and you know laying sod and even mm -hmm. selling sod you know things like that yep. okay. um, I do a little bit now but you know I'm still in the learning process with a lot of things so gotcha. I don't want to take on something I don't know how to do yet I wasn't asking um, you to I'm just I asking learned. you where you're going what uh um do you do you do a profit and loss statement on your business yes every month yes okay and um do you do a budget on your business? I don't do a budget on my business uh, because I, I do it because I project what I would do. That is a budget. Okay. If you, then, project, then, if you then, project your revenue and you project your expenses next month and the next month and through the end of the year or through the next 12 months, um, and you, there, if you project your revenue and you project your expenses, you have a, automatically projected your profits. You understand that. Right. Revenue minus expenses equals profits. And if you've got that projected out, you have a budget. Okay. It doesn't have to be real sophisticated, but that's all a budget is, is driving with the windshield, not just the rearview mirror. The P&L is the rearview mirror. You follow me? Yes. Okay. So, you're man, you're on top of it for 21 years old. You're killing it. I'm really proud of Thank you. Thank you. You're doing really good. So uh, you. if you if you know that you're going to make X number of dollars in a year, then the next thing is, if you were to move out, what would be your household budget, and how do you afford rent, and where would you be renting, and would you take in a roommate, or how would you do all of that? And then once you answer that question, um, if you can do it on what you make now, then it's time to move. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, and, and as far as, like, in investing in retirement, is that something to think about now, or is that something to kind of... Wait a little bit till I get settled in and see how what what it does. Well, I want you to get settled I, in, and then I want you to have an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses before you okay. start investing, because that's your rainy day fund if something happens. Because, right. for example, if, if you got hurt, you would really have a problem with your income. Right. That would be an emergency. And I mean, if you got hurt and it wasn't bad, but it just slowed you down. Right. For a little while. You know, for 90 days, you had trouble producing quite as much. Uh, but you could still you could still work, but not quite like you could. You know, before that, 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 you need an emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. Once you get that in place, then I'm going to be there with you. And uh, but, but you don't have to have that to move out. You've just got to have the money to do the deposits and be able to monthly, doing your budget, afford to live and pay groceries and lights and water and rent and you need to lay you know go go shop some places if i lived here here's what it would cost if i lived there there's what it would cost and in this situation i'd have to have a roommate 
Uh, in this situation, I could park my equipment at my house um, or I'm in an apartment and I leave the equipment at mom and dad's house. I move out, but I still use their place to park my stuff and so on. This is the kind of thing you because, you know, some apartment complexes are probably not going to let you park four trailers of equipment around there or whatever. So you just got to look at those kinds of things and make that decision. But, yeah, you don't have to be financially whole and investing before you move out. You just got to be able to pay your bills. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.